Welcome to the channel at midnight for your update on cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. So be sure you go to the channel Bitcoin Believers at Daily Estates. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit all. And hit the likes on the videos so I keep doing these. I spend a lot of time on them. I don't have to do them, but I'm trying to help some people out. So I know. So if I can help anybody out, that's great. That's the plan. So anyway, uh, wow, George always comes up with the great stuff. George at Cryptos R Us. So I just watched this. He just came out with this. IRS is boon to crypto. Will reportedly ignore house bill defines broker bitcoin rises so basically the irs is saying we're not going to go by what this bill this big park belly bill they're going to pass says what a broker is we're going to go by how the people that submitted amendments want it yeah the uh, exchanges the minor uh, exchanges uh, layer two platform creators think like that they will have to can be considered brokers but me and you and you know everyday people whatever no you can't consider us brokers we're not freaking brokers all right we're individual americans trying to get away around this you know fiat system so that's fantastic news it could have caused a little bit of pump in the market. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'll look at the charts in just a second. I wanted to look at this uh, Twitter spaces. This this is a fascinating program because you can get on there and listen to these people. And, uh, you know, they got all different viewpoints. But what I didn't get about this one tonight, Maxi Living Room, whatever that's supposed to be. They were... I don't know, they were talking about crypto and economics, basically, but the speakers they had, the one guy that spoke a lot, he's still skeptical of Bitcoin, he hasn't even bought any Bitcoin, didn't know if he's going to. I'm like, well, why are you having him on? Just because he's an economic major or something? You know, because they don't teach correct economics in school. I mean, seriously? So anyway, uh, yeah, it's, you know, that'll get people on there like George and me that have been there since 2013 and, and, and rode, you know, all the waves. I still got to make the video on keeping your patience during the bull market, bull run or downtrend for that matter. So we'll, I'll get to that. I wanted to look at uh asset class page. I, ha I didn't have it pulled up. Uh, See if I can find it. Uh, I had a picture of it, so maybe I can. I don't know which website I was on. I should have meant to log on to it before I got here. Let's see if I got it. Well. I know I posted it somewhere, so. I hate things doing this. This is my Facebook page, too, so if you're interested. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know what the website was. It was pulled it up earlier today. So this is a top asset by market cap and here's the deal bitcoin is at almost two trillion dollars in market cap today and that's been up to 2.5 before i was just looking the other night on the video and it's been up 2.5 but total global not bitcoin but the global crypto market is at 1.99 trillion dollars so that's two trillion dollars and that's nothing yet there is 250 trillion dollars out in all the other markets and guess where it's coming yeah so 
back to this one. Okay, here's top assets by market cap. You know, market cap being it's the total amount of money invested in an asset. You know, uh, it could be anything. It could be real estate. It could be uh, gold or silver or whatever. So gold has a 11.3 trillion market cap. It's listed as number one. That surprised me. I didn't think that was the case. But uh, Apple at 2.4 trillion. Microsoft 2.2 trillion. Saudi Aramco oil company 1.8. Google 1.8. Amazon 1.6. Silver 1.3. Facebook 1.0. Bitcoin 888 billion market cap. Number nine. So. Bitcoin is on the heels of Facebook, Silver, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Apple, Gold. And I would expect by the end of the year, it'll probably pass all these. Except Gold. It probably won't pass Gold. And I see Gold probably dropping down as people flood into Bitcoin. So, it's an interesting fact. Uh, Cardano... Uh, News on Cardano is, I think they got a clock out here. Anyway, somebody was showing a clock this morning. Uh, they are going, excuse me, uh, they're going to introduce smart contracts. Is That's what they're waiting on and the the clock is set for 33 days i think unless nobody's got it posted anyway it's 33 days <coughs> cardona's gonna get smart tracks so smart contracts and uh so that looking at Cardano right now is up seventy five percent the last thirty days, forty eight percent this week. I actually went earlier in my my actual portfolio and I exchanged Chainlink for Cardano. Now it's gone up sixty seven percent. In the last 30 days also or Car cardano's at 75 so it's not a lot of difference there but um you know chain link will have his day it usually works that way one will pump the other one won't then it'll it'll switch on you so but it was up 12 percent this week where cardano's up 50 percent so i'm gonna wait until this runs over and then i'll maybe convert it back over to chain link at that point and that's the good thing about crypto I can go on, take any of these coins that I have, and I can switch them over and do an exchange. So I'm not selling, so I'm not, you know, uh, you know, it's not taxable because you're not selling it. So anyway, looking real quick at Bitcoin, uh, I don't know if that's, it's keeping up to date like it should. Yeah, I guess it is. 46.71. Um, let's see. Yeah, forty six eight hundred or forty six seventy. So we're ranging in between forty six forty seven. So I knew when we got to forty seven forty eight, we we're gonna hit resistance. You know, unless we blew through it, we were gonna hit resistance, and we did. Um, and it, I don't know if there's anything that's going to push it over 50 or not. We'll see. Monday could be the thing. You know, tomorrow could be dead. And then Monday could be, bam, we're up. So anyway, uh, Bitcoin this week's up 5%. Ethereum's up almost 5%. Cardano, 50% this week. Polkadot, 11%. That's decent. Polygon doing fantastic. 25% this week and 61 for the month. I mean, that's crazy stuff. I mean, all of these coins, even these little rinky dink ones that I got for, uh, you know, off of Coinbase just for take, watching videos at 40, 50, 45, 30. It's just insane. Uh, so, anyway, um, what else did we have? Let's see. 
Yeah, most of the uh, economic people, not even crypto people, just basically, I mean, people that know about it and understand it are predicting 120 to 150,000 by the end of the year. I mean, <laughs> I don't think I would be that bold. I mean, I could believe 75,000, but 100 to 150, man, that's that's a little scary. And uh, well, for me, it's really too fast because I'm in it for the long haul. So, I mean, I don't I don't really want it running up that quick. I would rather have it stair step, you know, to 60. 65 come October, November, December, 70, and then, you know, by the first year, 70, 75. And then you're going to have pullbacks along the way, too. So we'll see. That's only three months, four months from now. So we'll see what happens. Uh, look at the charts real quick, and that's about it. I'm going to wrap it up because it's a weekend, and really nobody's doing anything. Uh, so Bitcoin, that was going back a couple of days ago. We had a nice run up, uh, and then we got over here to uh, what time was that? Probably it was early in the morning. Yeah, it was early this morning. We took a dip. We got bought back up. Went sideways. Went up. Took a little dip just a little while ago, and now we're getting another green wick up. So. It just keeps getting bought back up. I just don't see anybody being able to have put enough pressure on it to drive it down to pass, you know, 40, 41. I mean, I don't see it going below 42. So, I, you know, is that possible? I mean, I don't even know when it was at 42 last. Long time ago. August 6th. <laughs> a long time ago. Four. Eight, barely a week. So it was at 42. It's man, how time flies. Uh, Cardano, two dollars and eighteen cents, and everything is correlating. It's correlating along with Bitcoin. Every time Bitcoin makes a jog, these all make a jog. Uh, see now, here's Chainlink. I mean, it's pretty much all day has just been sideways. There just hasn't been a lot. And it's been that way for quite a while. Except for over here, we have a nice little pump. So anyway, I'd rather have this chart. And that's why I converted it. As opposed to, you know, this one. There's, I mean, there's a, you know, you got an uptrend going here. And this, of course, is just a on an hour chart. But <clears throat> let's see if we put it on four hour. What would it look like? Four hour. Wow. Yeah. I mean, look at the comparison. Well, that actually looks pretty good. But it did take a good dip there. And this didn't really have a big a dip. It consolidated and it's still going up. So, you know, ride it, man. Alter just something to play around with for me. You know, they're not like the end all be all. So, you know, Ethereum. I like Ethereum, but it's not Bitcoin, so. And it's done good, too. I mean, it's really hadn't hit any major, major dips, so. It's good. Polkadot, nice chart for Polkadot. I mean, you got the trends there. I mean, you can see how it, I wonder where, oh, yeah, they got trend line, so. I didn't mean to do that. Go away. Ah. That's weird. I don't know. Anyway, I was just going to draw a trend line. That's all I was going to do. <laughs> Not that it really needed, but. Yeah, I don't even know where it went now. Oh, there it is, the orange one. That's making a different color. But I mean, that's a massive trend line. What you can do with these trend lines, 
like you can put it down here at the low which I mean this is only going back a month but you can see you put it on the lowest part there to be on the conservative side I don't know why that thing moved it shouldn't move so what you can do with these is like okay well this is a trajectory it's been on for a month so let's just extend it out and see where it goes. Thirty dollars. <laughs> That's insane. Let me uh, look at Bitcoin real quick. With the trend line. I haven't really been using the trend line since I quit using, I guess, Trading View. I don't want to quit it. Be nice if they let you just turn the dang thing off, man. Okay. Quit it. Um, let's go back a month. I don't know how this four hour ain't showing. Oh. You need more like a 12 hour. I ain't even got a 12 hour. I hate that. Let me go daily. Man, where is that? July. Oh well. What a pain. So, well, just looking at Bitcoin. <coughs> Going back to July 20th, just what I did on the other chart. And we'll follow this being conservative. So yeah, I mean we're pointed right at sixty-four thousand dollars. I mean, that's exactly where it's supposed to go. Previous high sixty-four thousand dollars. This trend line going back to July twentieth, it's taking it right up to sixty-four thousand dollars, which would be September. 24 so <clears throat> yeah looking at uh looking at this yeah looking at september 24 sixty four thousand dollars is i mean it's more than likely i'd be willing to bet that bitcoin will come back and test this line again this trend line at like 45 46 it's almost it, you know it's not that far from it it's going to come back down test it's going to bounce off it's going to come down test it's going to bounce off and it's probably not going to even go below that trend line if it, if you know everything keeps going the way it's going so that's kind of it i'm going to cut it short here uh, oh i gotta finish watching the game i hope it ain't over <clears throat> anyway thanks for watching subscribe to the channel or check out my facebook or bitcoin believers on twitter at daily estates thank you and go strohs yeah.